All right, guys. So we're gonna uh, I'm gonna read a few lines out of the Haggadah right today. I'm gonna ask you what you think they mean to you. Okay. I mean, obviously, I mean, I can tell you the historical relevant uh, the historical relevance um, from the particular book itself. But um, since you're a white belt today, uh, have you ever heard of the Haggadah before? No. Okay. So it means hidden leaves, and um, I'm going to read the most famous, the first couple are the, probably the most famous, I'm going to read them, see what you guys, what your interpretation of them are, but um, I'm pretty positive that even though you may have not heard of the book, I'm pretty sure you've heard of some of the stuff in the book, because it's been fluttered through anime and manga and multiple other cartoons or Japanese movies or things like that, okay? So um, the first... The first quote comes from the first chapter, and um, what he writes, he says, The way of the samurai is found in death. When it comes to either or, there is only the quick choice of death. It is not particularly difficult. Be determined in advance. To say that dying without reaching one, one's aim is to die a dog's death is the frivolous way of sophisticates. What do you think? When you hear those words, the way of the samurai is found in death. When it comes to either or, there's only a quick choice of death. What does that mean to you? They don't fear death. They know that it's inevitable. So if you're going to go to war, you're going to go fight. You might as well give it your all. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you got? Yeah, it's somewhere it's, you know, that they go out knowing that they're going to die. That's the idea. If there's no, like, oh, I didn't get to achieve what I wanted to do. It's like what you wanted to do was die on the field. That was what you were there for. You I mean, you, yeah, you live to die. You right. literally live in order to die. You, right. you know what I mean? We're going to always come face it, right? What about you? What do you got? There's no space for regrets. No. You can't regret anything. No. What do you got? I don't know. I was kind of going to say what he said. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, that, um, the only thing I was thinking, like, word for word, is that they live basically to go out and they don't expect to come back. Like, they, right. they have, like, a really good idea that they're not coming back. But that's, like, their way of honor. Right. Going out and dying. Yeah, to die, to die on the field of battle, right? And it's like a what's well, another way of looking at that particular quote too? Um, samurai were paid to kill, so the way of the samurai is found in death. That you can't be a samurai without killing people. You know what I mean? So it's not just so, so many people look at that particular quote and they they totally take it inward, like the samurai. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Well, for for that particular samurai, whether it's a man or a woman. Women samurai, I don't know that this word samurai would have been used. They would have used the word onabugeisha. But either way, they were still paid to kill. They were paid to soldier. So the way of the samurai, the way of being a soldier, is found in death. You have Your mind has to be constantly thinking, I'm going to kill something. Or it's going to be killing me. You know, and that's the mindset. The second one I was going to read is probably one of my more fam my favorite ones. Let's see what you guys think it means to you, though. All right? Here, we got three of them for you guys today. So here's number two that we're going to read. And it says, There's something to be learned from a rainstorm. When meeting with a sudden shower, you try not to get wet and run quickly along the road. But doing such things as passing the eaves of houses, you will still get wet. When you are resolved from the beginning, you will not be perplexed, though you still get the same soaking. This understanding exceeds to everything. Again, the, the first sentence, there's something to be learned from a rainstorm. When meeting with a sudden shower, you try not to get wet and run quickly along the road. But doing such things as passing under the eaves of houses, you will still get wet. When you resolve from the beginning, you will not be perplexed, though you still get the same soaking. This understanding exceeds to everything. Mm, that can be a lot of ways. It uh, is. It's a good one. <laughs> I, I look at it as... Um, kind of trying to delay the inevitable, delaying something that's going to happen regardless. Like you can hide under an umbrella, but, or like I said, running under the, whatever they call them. The eaves of Yeah, the eaves. But you're still going to get wet running in between. So you're pretty much, it's enough where you're going to get wet. You're right. just delaying it. Right. You know. Don't, don't delay the inevitable is what you're saying. Yeah. I guess that's, I, I think that's what you're trying yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What do you got? Yeah, uh, very similar. It's, just, it's, there's the, the delaying the inevitable, there's also the acceptance. Right. It's like, right. okay, I'm in the rain, I'm going to get wet. I can try not to, but it's it's a waste of time. Just accept that you're going to get wet and move on. Right. Um, I take it as, like, preparing yourself for the worst. So, like, just 
preparing your mind for something bad happening so right. it doesn't surprise you when it does happen. Right. Make that. Um, kind of along the lines of like delaying what's inevitable, but more or less like facing it, like whether it's uh, internal or external, that um, either way you're going to come face to face with it. So either way, uh, there's like a part of your brain that's like ready for it, like so that you're always prepared. Right. Right. So the next one. So here's the last one, okay? And we'll see what you guys think of this one. I'm not for sure what chapter this one's from, but here we go. When on the battlefield, if you try not to let others take the lead and have this and have the sole intention of breaking into the enemy lines, then you will not fall behind others. Your mind will become fierce and you will manifest martial valor. This fact has been passed down by the elders. Furthermore, if you are slain in battle, you should be resolved to have your corpse facing the enemy. What do you think about that? Can you read the first, the first couple? This is pretty hard. This, yeah. this, this, <laughs> this guy definitely is, is a hard ass. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Dumb that down in the, in, in the modern era. He's like, if you're going to war, you want to make sure you're the first one to break through those lines because you don't want to be by anyone. You know what I mean? And if you do die, make sure you're facing their ass. You ain't dying running the other way. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you're talking about fucking battle hardened from hell. But all right, so here we go. Let's try this again. When on the battlefield, if you try not to let, when on the battlefield, if you try not to let others take the lead and have the sole intention of breaking into the enemy lines then you will not fall behind others. Your mind will become fierce, and you will manifest martial valor. This fact has been passed down by the elders. Furthermore, if you are slain in battle, then you should be resolved to have your corpse facing the enemy. Uh, so you think of bravery and down with honor. If you're in war, just be most likely going to, I'm most likely going to die. High possibility you're going to die, so right. you might as well die with honor and be, be brave. Right. Right. Don't be a coward. <laughs> yeah, don't be a coward. Right, right, yeah. That's kind of like, you know, don't, don't look for the opening, make the opening. Right. Right, but don't wait for them to make the mistake, make them make the mistake. Right, right, that's good, that's good. Um, to be the first of the line, like, I take it like they all go together, but once they kind of meet that wall where uh, things are getting more serious, right. that, like everything that you know and that you're, you're there for, um, more or less, like you become like uh, one vision, like you're not there with everyone else, you're kind of just taking on your, your own battle, right? Right, there. right. So I think yeah, I think that um, one, one thing about reading that, I know you're, you're, you're new here, but you'll see that I'm really big on the old ways and reading the old texts and, the, and making sure you guys understand where everything comes from and all that kind of thing, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I think that one thing that it really screams out is if you want something, you have to go get it. If you, you know, like, I mean, I've said this a million times and I'll say it a million more times before I'm dead. But if you want, if you want something, you need to go get it. If you want to be successful, then you need to be successful. You can't sit on your ass and be successful. No one's responsible for your success except you. And if anybody is scared that somebody else is going to say something negative about them or hurtful about them, then you don't deserve to be successful. You know what I mean? Now, I, there isn't anybody in the world in the ninja community that don't know who I am. Love me or hate me, they know the fuck I am. I promise that. I promise. You know what I mean? And I give zero shit. They love me, I love that. If they don't, zero shits. I'm going to stand up in front of the whole world no matter what. But if you want something, you have to go get it. you got to be the first one to the bit. Because if you're not, you know, what is that? There's a quote for you from Ricky Bobby. If you're not first, you're last. <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to bring that into the mix, but it's true, though. If you want something, you got to go get it. There's only one person going to be one. Catch what I'm saying? It's like but the race it, is the first loser. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm not trying. Yeah, I'm not trying to like. You know, I'm not trying to throw Ricky Bobby out there. But still, it's like. And when you put that in, if you're gonna go, when you go down, make sure you go down looking at the enemy. You don't ever want to. You don't ever want to not be successful or fail at something. And everyone thinks that well, the reason you failed is because you're running away, or you're a coward, or you're weak, or you can't take it. That's the last thing you want. If you're gonna not do it, you want to do it. Facing them, and this is where we're going to end with this, and I, I want to clear this question up because I don't know if you guys have ever heard this or who you follow or whatever, but 
There was a time in Japanese political history where all of these arts were military arts. They were passed down in the military families and the military traditions and so on and so forth. So Kenjutsu was the art of swordsmanship and Sojutsu is the art of spearmanship and Tanto Jutsu is the arts of knife fighting and etc. etc. Whether it's Jujutsu or Taijutsu or Kenpo or Ninjutsu or whatever Jutsu it is, right? You have all these Jutsus and they were all taught in the military, the military class, the samurai class. What ended up happening politically the question was, well, why do so many people have martial arts schools and then they're teaching ninjutsu? They were never taught. To, they were never meant to be martial arts. They're not martial arts. They're, they're, you know what I mean? That's he was trying to go this route to where they're supposed to be taught in the military. They're not supposed to be taught from a civilian perspective. And what's wrong? And the reason he's wrong, and I get it. 1868. There's the anything before 1868 is considered kōru. Anything after is gendai budo or modern martial arts. What ends up happening is these arts, or we call it the jutsus, and I'm not trying to sign Norito here, okay? But anything with the jutsu in it, again, whether it's kenjutsu, yaijutsu, ninjutsu, shinobi jutsu, jujutsu, taijutsu, tanto jutsu, shuriken jutsu, whatever jutsu you want to call it, they, they weren't in the military class anymore. They were part of the civilian life. Mar these masters became martial art teachers, and they were teaching civilians. They weren't teaching the military anymore. There were no samurai. The people that were head of these Ryuha, these Soke and Grandmasters and whatnot, they were not, you know, now working for the Japanese Navy. They were now martial art teachers. So when the people say, well, why do you study ninjutsu in a dojo? Well, that's where it all funneled to. All of these arts, whether it's, it's not just ninjutsu, it's all of them. Ninjutsu, shuriken jutsu, taijutsu, jujutsu, bojutsu, tanto jutsu, sojutsu, kyujutsu. I mean, shit, I'll name them all for you. All of them got pushed out of the military and into civilian life. Whoever was running those schools started teaching students, and those students need to learn those the way. You know, Bushido, right? The way of the warrior. So when people say that, if they're going to ask a question, well, you know, are these martial arts, you know, what, how did these martial arts get into, like, here? Why are they not taught there? Well, that's why. Japan's army changed. They went to more, like, more military like we have, you know what I mean, with the guns and the, the navy and all that kind of thing, you know. Have you ever watched the movie The Last Samurai? Yes. Okay, great movie. Not a, lot of, not a lot of historical truth to the actual story, but still a great movie. But it does paint a good picture on how the Japanese really did go from, you know, shooting bow and arrows and using spears to, you know what I mean, the, the idea of that I think was captured very well in that movie. But anyway, I wanted to cover that, so anyway, if you guys ever get a chance, this is one of the books that I think are great. It's called the Hagakure. Read it if you have time. If not, I'm sure I will be reading it all to you guys anyway before you guys die. So alright, let's work on the next uh, work on the next section.